Okay, guys, I just want to get one more shot, okay. please. This is going to look great right over okay. here. Okay. Officer, please, I need you this way. Thank you. Tight elbow, oh. Manny. I need you guys tight. Uh -huh. It's going to be great. Okay, thank you. A little closer. Right. A little closer. Thank you All so right. much. Cool. It's wonderful, Thanks. wonderful, uh, beautiful. Now, we are going to be... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. All I can say is I hope you'll continue to make the community a better place. Hey, man, you know, for a cop, you ain't so bad, man. You know, give it up. The streets, man, <laughs> word, give oh, it up. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey, Officer McCree, yeah. this is Nico right here. This is oh. my man, Nico. Oh, good to meet you. Uh, I hear you're helping this guy with his vital work for our city. Well, no, I'm uh, just a tourist. Uh, look, Manny, I gotta go. All right. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, officer. Thanks. Yeah, you know, it was a real big thing for me, you know what I'm saying? A real street... Were you followed? Hey, strange seeing you here, Officer McCreary. I told you to come here, fucking maggot. You did? Why? I know about you. Know what? I know enough, boy. Oh, what do you know, boy? I know you killed Mikhail Faustin. I know a group of Russians want you dead. I know you ain't no saint, boy. I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. <laughs> You think this is a town that can keep a secret? I really don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. You know that a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. That people ain't perfect, that life is a mess. Sure, everybody knows that. So, you look out for me, and I don't look out for you. <laughs> know what I mean? I think so. So there's a guy trying to blackmail me. Who? I don't know. Thinks he's getting paid, though. The guy's smart. He arranged to do the exchange by the Humboldt River off Silicon Street. Said to call him from the viewpoint there. Okay. Listen, I did what I did. <laughs> I made a mistake. That don't make me the devil. Now, obviously, I can't go, because then he gets a picture of me giving him money, and I'm admitting guilt. I ain't guilty of nothing other than being a man. To be honest, I don't really care one way or another. Well, I'm a good man. No doubt. Now call me when you get to the spot. I'm in the park. Now what? All right. This guy told me to bring the money there and call him. That means he's somewhere close and he's got a phone. I'm gonna text you his number. You've got to call him and keep a lookout for someone answering a phone. He won't be far. A friend. I'm calling about your exchange with McCreary. Yeah? You better have my paper. I ain't fucking around. I'm sure he's got your money. Have you got the stuff he wants? Yeah, I got it. We're gonna make this shit happen. I don't mess around, you know. Push me, and this shit is all over Weasel News. I got them on speed dial. Really? Yeah, and there's a lawyer called Tom Goldberg who's real interested. He's hungry for McCreary's blood and shit. Yeah. Good thing Francis is paying, then. Call me when this exchange is going down. I don't like all the talking. Yeah. I just walked past that billboard you're on. You're hot. Shit, it's you again? Money best be the topic of this conversation. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about how you ain't getting no money, but you're still giving up the photos. I told McCreary I wasn't giving up them photos unless he paid me. He was gonna have to take them from my cold, dead hand. You know what? He thought that that wasn't such a bad idea. Looks like you've been fucking with the wrong cop. You know what? Fuck this. I'm getting out of here. The meat's off, buddy. Something's wrong here. Smoking just makes you look cool. No discussion. <laughs> Here, he's dead.
Great. I can get rid of these now. I feel like a new man. Not many people get a second chance like this. It's my redemption. Your sins are absolved, I guess. Jimmy, how you doing? Yeah, uh, come on, Jimmy, right. uh, let's go to my office. Okay, that's it, Jim, sir. Let's you're undercover. As in deep. <laughs> hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch, looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Oh, I could use a drink. You? No. Uh, Oh, the motherfucker thinks he can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Uh, sure. Listen, uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should uh. that ruin his life? People don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I. He's got it all wrong. He's got. It's but one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? <sighs> Some lawyer. Big white shoe firm thinks he's a crusader. Some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face. Hey, Some... enough! Enough. Sorry. Look, the guy's name is Tom Goldberg. Thinks he's got something on me. He's gonna go to the DA with it, use it to get into Congress. Okay. Yeah. So, it's him or me. And it might as well be him, right? But he's hard to get to. Guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not in the showers, a job interview. Then you can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure. It'll be easy. You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. But, uh... Get yourself a suit. Okay. I will email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man. Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. It does. I've sent off the application. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. Call when you hear about the interview. Mr. Bellick, this is Karen from Goldberg, Lickner, and Scheister. We'd like to arrange an interview for you at the earliest convenience. Come into our offices at noon tomorrow. Is that all right? I can free that period up in my schedule. Super. Your interview will be with Mr. Goldberg. Press the buzzer and we'll let you in. Have a nice day. I have an interview with Goldberg tomorrow. Perfect. The smug bastard ain't gonna know what's coming at him. Teach him for sticking his nose in other people's business and get the files. There's this cop. Good cop, but he thinks he's above the law. He's not. You want to know why? Because the law is clear. I'm going to crush him into dust.
Here are the files. Great. Peace at last. I feel cleansed. You silenced Goldberg, too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa, music to my ears! A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McCreary now these days? He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in the place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fat! That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you, ain't you, Packy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. <laughs> Nothing like a sibling's love, eh, Derek? Nothing like it. Nothing could make me love Francis, though. Fucking Frankie. He'd be pissed if he could see us now. Sure, Ma, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about Packy. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. I love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's funny, but I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good and no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better by any means necessary. And you, what do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen, I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty as sin. He is sin! <laughs> but it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that <laughs> evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two G's. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vauxite and call me.
cheeks. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. This ain't really the place for you, tough guy. Yeah, sure, man. You might want to go home. Going up there would be a dumb play, I'm telling you that. Whatever. Shit, I hope you enjoyed your sightseeing tour. It's your last. Scared now, huh? You white trash asshole! I got it. Turn off your TVs and come out here to help me deal with this crazy psychopath. Ready to die, bitch. I'll cut off your fucking head. Yo, 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 man, you got me, chill. I surrender. You wouldn't kill an unarmed man, would you? This isn't my choice. The police want you dead. Yo, it's that rat cop McCreary, ain't it? You don't like a younger brother with ambition. Tell you what, I'll reform. I'll get out the game, get a, get a GED or some shit. Make something of my life. McCreary gonna think I'm dead, word. Come on, boss. Don't kill me, boss. I'm too young to die. Please, please. Sorry. Stop! I will shoot you. Give me some cover. I'm a guest in your country. Give me a break. Okay, me. He tried to convince me to let him go. Said he'd get out of town. I finished him anyway. Good move. You shouldn't trust a word that comes out of that scum's mouth. The streets are a little bit cleaner now he's gone. One percent. All we can hope for. Whatever you say. They don't look much cleaner from where I'm standing. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization, and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment, and he wants to speak to the feds. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. 
Maybe he'll let you walk. On account of you being brain dead and totally fucking mentally retarded. <laughs> Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. The guy's a fucking low life. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cunt dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. Yeah, but we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You call. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. I found the place. Okay, the mopes holed up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Oh, Keith, call me when it's done. The all-new Tower of a Meal at Burger Shot. It's the six-pound burger. Yo, what's good? I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh-uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. 
Oh, don't push me. I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice. Neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. I gotta speak to one of the sergeants. Hey, what's the problem? I thought you were gonna make something happen for me. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? You want me to give you a raise? That might help. All right then, call it a bonus. Make this happen. Officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area. Derek, shit, he's my brother. I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Right, it happened right in front of me. I can feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. It's not the money. I just don't feel right. Then start feeling right. I got you by the balls here. Don't you forget about that. the half.
one less cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Packy? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' so funeral. Up, it's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. Can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god, get the hell out of the way! I see one. Disrespectful bastards! Nico, cover the fucking alleyway! Damn you! It looks like that's all of them for now. Get out of the church! Come on! Okay, Nico, time to get out of here. But I ain't leaving my poor dead brother to the mercy of them animals. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Could we put him in the ground? <laughs> Shit, we lost the back doors! Don't lose my brother, too! Go easy there, Nico! Piece of advice! Don't 
fuck it up when I fucking put you down. I don't think they're after us no more, Nico. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart, rather than for another piece of your anatomy. Which ain't gonna get used, I might add. All right, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Francis McReary was shot dead in Algonquin. Although there were rumors of corruption surrounding Mr. McReary, many believed he was a fine officer who served the city well through difficult times. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. We apologize for the inconvenience, but this number has been disconnected. Please hang up and try again.